last night at dinner and I said, when I get nervous, I get a nervous laugh and I go, no! I've always <laughs> dreamed of being a bride and when I was little, I used to dance around in my mum's neck curtains, <laughs> dancing around the living room, pretending to be a bride and getting married and dancing and singing to myself and that is really sadly true. <laughs> Understand the declarations you have now made. Okay. Have you made them of your own free will and without duress? I have. <laughs> the same things from people when they first meet Jim. The first one is, oh, is he in a bad mood? <laughs> and my answer is always, no, that's just his face. <laughs> You can keep those what are they? for when you get married. You can keep yeah. those. And that was when you were the flower girl at Mummy's wedding. Yeah. Right. Is that alright? I didn't fall in love with you. I walked into love with you with my eyes wide open choosing to take every step along the way. I do believe in fate and destiny, but I also believe we are only fated to do the things that we chose anyway. And I choose you in a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds, in any version of reality, I'd find you and I would choose you. but it was never in doubt, Sonia, that you look absolutely amazing today. And I'm definitely the one punching in this relationship. You're, you're my best friend, my soulmate, and I can't wait to spend the rest of our days growing up together. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Civil Registration Act 2004, and as James and Sonia have solemnly bound themselves in wedlock, before all of you here as witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and you make this right. <laughs>